training starts next week for the Red Sox and their Snowbird fans at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers. Must be nice. Here with some pro tips about preventing arm and shoulder injuries is Dr. Evan O'Donnell, who's both the team physician and a specialist at Mass General Brigham Sports Medicine. Dr. O'Donnell, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're always concerned about the team. So what can you tell us about the injury risk during the first few weeks? You know, thanks so much for having me. You know, interestingly, the injury risk is actually pretty low as we start off the season. In in the professional throwing athlete, many of the injuries that we see are chronic overuse type injuries. It actually parallels a lot of our collegiate and younger athletes where they're throwing so much that they become injured later in the season. Okay. Some of us are enjoying in early games and watching the players warm up. What advice do you typically give to them about stretching? You know, uh, really, the preparation that these athletes uh, go through for kind of every outing really begins way before they step on the diamond. Uh, and it begins with uh, restful sleep, um, taking time off kind of between their performances to good nutrition, to working with our trainers uh, once they get to the uh, uh, Fenway Park or Fenway South, uh, getting loose and warm, and then they step on. So stretching really is, is kind of one of the final stages um, of this uh, preparation. We're talking about the pros here, but of course you don't have to be a professional athlete to experience some shoulder pain. What are some of the most common causes you see in patients at the hospital? You know, often um, I have a very good idea of uh, the pathology um, that's presenting uh, based on patient's age. Like our younger athletes typically typically have labral or shoulder instability problems. Our middle-aged patients typically have rotator cuff problems, whether it be just tendonitis or inflammation, all the way up to big tears. Uh, and our older patients typically have arthritis. So even before I've looked at x-rays or MRI, I have a pretty good differential of uh, what we need to hone in on. As you know, some people will put off seeing the doctor for problems with their shoulders, knees, elbows, even if they think it could be serious. What do you want them to know? You know, I, I actually think it varies probably based on uh, what is hurting. So for shoulders, uh, it's very common to have aches and pains. Um, when it becomes severe, that's a trigger to come see one of our specialists. And then also when you pair pain with other symptoms such as weakness, I think then it's important to kind of seek out a consultation. Good to know. Okay, Dr. Evan O'Donnell, who is both the team physician and a specialist at Mass General Brigham Sports Medicine, joining us from Florida this morning. Lucky you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, it's about 70.